Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, March 26th, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Just because the world is stuck in a holding pattern doesn't mean we all have to just stand still. Just look at Hunter Labrada. A few days ago, Hunter's team posted an update that showed the rookie in training looking rock solid at a lean and mean 260 pounds. At this point, it seems like their plan is to target a show sometime in May if the Pro League ends up resuming business as usual. So if things do go according to plan and we do end up picking back up in May, this could, could end up being a problem for a lot of veterans out there. Just because you're in quarantine doesn't mean you should pass up the opportunity to snap a few well-timed selfies. And thankfully for us, Luke Sando seems like he feels the same way. Earlier this week, Luke released a few behind-the-curtain selfies he sent to Chris Aceto on one of their recent check-ins, where we see Luke looking dangerous at a solid 270 pounds. As of right now, I'm told that Luke doesn't have any dates circled on his calendar to the end of the season. But if things do start to pick up again, we should expect to see him make his presence felt sometime later in the calendar year. If you live in a place where the gyms aren't closed, this is like one of those dream scenarios if you're a fitness junkie. Since you don't have to go to work, pretty much all you can do is sit around all day until it's time to work out. And so far, that formula looks like it's working well for Abner Logan. Back at the Arnold, Abner was one of the biggest surprises of the weekend after his fourth place finish in Classic Physique. And it seems like he's carried that momentum right into whatever this phase of his 2020 campaign is. For a guy who came into last season relatively raw, he's shown over and over again now that he's good enough to hang with the top guys in the division. So once things get back on track, I would look out for him to make some noise down the road. The older I get, the more I realize how important it is to wake up every day and have something I'm excited about. And at least for the moment, Jeremy Buendia seems like he's as excited as ever to get back on the Olympia stage. On Tuesday, I saw an update from Jeremy's team that actually made me stop and look twice because there was a hot second where I actually thought it was an old training video from one of the Olympia runs. The four-time champ looks like he's back to firing on all cylinders again. So as long as he doesn't lose the spark, he's only going to get more dangerous as we get closer to September. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you.